Okay designers, in this video we're going to look at the last way to combine and edit shapes in Gravit. So the first doesn't really permanently combine them, but is a useful way to combine and organize and move stuff together. So here I'm making three shapes. And I'm going to make different colors. And if I want these to stay together in this relationship, for the rest of, as I move them around for my design, I can select them using the main arrow and then click here to group them. If you watched on my layers tab, it combined the three objects into a group object, which means these will now be treated together. It means if I grab one and move it, they move together. It also means that I can stretch them and shrink them and resize them and rotate them together but they haven't become one. So we'll look at the ways that we can do that. If I have two shapes and I want to literally combine them so they become one shape, the main way to do that is to use the Pathfinder tools, which are grayed out here unless I have at least two objects selected. If I select these two objects, you can see I now have access to these tools, Union, Subtract, Intersect, and Different. As I press Union, these two shapes become one shape together. They have a single fill, and they have a single outline, if I add an outline border to it. I can go back and switch this type of compound using these appearance options here or changing it here with the dropdown. If I instead choose subtract, it takes whichever object was the top one and punches it out of the bottom one. The intersection gives me only the overlapping bit of the two objects. And the last one difference takes the overlapping bit away and only leaves me the two parts that aren't overlapping. For all intents and purposes, this is now treated as a single object. I can fill the color as a single object. I can change the border as a single object. This can be useful for cutting holes or cutting eyes or just adding bits of a shape together, particularly if you're working fast. Another way to edit shapes that we still haven't used is the knife tool. Here I'm going to make a shape. And I'm going to also give it a border. The knife tool is here to the right of the pen and K is its hotkey. With the knife tool, I can click and drag a line through an existing object. It slices it, like its namesake, a big knife, and allows me to then move these pieces as fully separate objects now. Notice where it cut, it created new borders. Each of these objects is a closed object. This can be used to make some very interesting designs because you can quickly make very uh, objects that like clearly go along with each other. The last tool, and again, remember these tools work on all shapes, not just rectangles, but ones that I've drawn freehand or used the pen tool to make. The last one is underneath the knife tool and it is the freehand shaping tool. This one is a little less clean and a little less accurate but can do a lot of interesting things quickly. For example, you can drag it through a shape and it will, well right here, it just drew a line for me. But if I have a shape selected and I drag it through that shape, it will cut a hole into the shape. It's acting up a little bit right now and that it's not showing me the line as I'm cutting, but you can see here that it is 
sort of using the same way we would have a freehand drawing, it is freehand cutting bits out of the shape. If I start within the shape and drag, it will actually add to the shape. Here, I'm gonna circle this and it will fill that in, but it also filled in this bit up here. Each time it is making lots of new vertices for me that perhaps I don't need or want. This is not the most especially useful tool, but it can be used in a pinch if you need to just like erase a small bit of an existing shape. All of these are ways to uh, use the tools to edit existing shapes. And this is pretty much it for our tools for editing. Um, the rest of the tools we're going to be looking at are ways to change the way that things look and the way that they're presented. Uh, different uh, effects and um, colors and different ways of filling stuff in uh, when making stuff using our workflow.